In this video, I'm gonna talk about if you're an adult or a child, you could get $1,000 a month every single month. This is a topic that is a little different than the content I make, but it's typical, I've covered it before. Personally, I like to cover it, but the idea is there are a lot of programs out there that'll give you $1,000 every single month. And I'm talking about UBI or universal basic income. I know a lot of people don't wanna talk about it, but it's coming. As soon as the robo taxis from Elon Musk, and yes, he just showed robo taxis. And if you've been to San Francisco lately, you see all, there's 300 cars, Waymos, that are driving themselves, okay? And next year, 2025, we're gonna have like 13 different robots that can watch you do your job and actually do it. And once they do it, every single robot can literally just download that program and have it. So while it takes us years to learn something, they do it right away. UBI occasionally reappears in conversation, but if you've been around the high level people at Google, the high level people at Microsoft and Facebook, almost everybody universally agrees that our current technology is gonna supersede our economic structure and this cost labor approach where we pay for time is gonna be obsolete. So UBI is a topic that occasionally reappears in those conversations, but it kind of seems like it's drifted in and out of focus. Now, Andrew Dan literally ran on it for president eight years ago and was a big supporter of the idea during his presidential campaign. But since then, it's been a little bit of a back burner, which sucks because these are great programs too. It's one of those ideas that sounds simple, but in practice becomes a complex web of economic politics and political and public opinion. So we're gonna talk about this, but before we do, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Andrew Cartwright. If you're back, welcome back. I'm here to help you get money, leverage it, and invest it. I can relate to where you are. I've been homeless and broke to multimillionaire, decamillionaire, and beyond. Finally locked in that lifelong success. I did it the hard way by founding 32 companies. Who does that? In 17 industries and buying 17 companies, five vex. And uh, right now, I'm here buying companies, 99 of them, with you guys because I want to see you guys succeed like I have and I'm putting up the equity in Epic 99. So make sure you hit the link down below. You need to have a 680 credit score and also know how to run a business. If you wanna buy a fix and flip, real estate, we got loans for you down below. We're real easy. We don't need your tax returns and we basically do a soft pull on your credit. So it could be fix and flip. It could be a rental that you wanna do. It can even be ground up construction. The links down below plus we got 12 different business loans down there for you as well you can have a credit score as low as 350 honestly we don't care it's all based on your cash flow so don't forget to also grab your free stock down below i don't want you to miss on that because it's free money at its core ubi is all about giving regular cash payments to everyone in a community regardless of their employment status age or other factors the money is meant to help people such as yourself meet your basic needs if you're not able to meet them once you get that money you can breathe a sigh of relief because now you have the economic security and dignity that can often be lacking in most targeted welfare programs the cool thing is most of all these programs really don't get passed unless they're bipartisan so there's no political winner here they both have put up and helped in these programs what sets ubi apart from other forms of assistance is its universal nature everyone in a given area would receive the payments from children to adults the idea is that these payments would be funded through public funds and distributed by governments through some version of UBI having been implemented at state and local levels. And they've been testing this for years to try and make it work. Not all programs that call themselves UBI, because it's a fancy name, truly fit the description. Many are simply scaled efforts, often with restrictions and conditions that UBI purists would argue go against the philosophy of the universality of it all. But the reality is, is that 2025, this, some form of this is gonna have to happen when these robots and these cars that drive themselves, that'll take out the, one of the number one employers across the whole world, automotive transport, whether it's UPS, 
FedEx or DoorDash or driving you around or moving stuff around, it, it's gonna be unbelievable. For example, though, some programs only provide payments to low-income individuals or specific demographic groups. I think that sucks. While these efforts may still provide valuable insights into the benefits and the drawbacks of each of these systems, they don't fully capture the real spirit of UBI, which is intended to be all encompassing. It's in the name, universal basic income. Let's take a look at some of the examples of UBI programs in the United States that are going on right now to better understand how the ideas are being implemented and where you could face challenges in getting it. In Los Angeles, the Board of Supervisors recently expanded its UBI pilot program known as Breathe. Launched in 2022, the program originally provided monthly payments of $1,000 to residents deemed to be in financial need. The following year, 200 more individuals were added, specific forms, foster care youth who had been left from out of the system. Despite the relatively timid reception from the public, right? And limited enthusiasm from such programs within the country, the board decided to double down by expanding the program even further. This time they expanded the target to 2,000 non-minor dependents in the foster care system. UBI programs have been cropping up in various cities like Stockton, Compton, Oakland, and San Francisco, but many of them haven't made it past the pilot stage of just checking how it worked. Lack of public support, budgetary constraints, and even lawsuits, really, lawsuits have stopped the process. In fact, the state of California once had a strong backer of UBI efforts has pulled back its financial support, citing budget crisis. What budget isn't in crisis? Look at the United States, right? One of the more well-known UBI programs in San Francisco, known as the GIFT program, was recently shuttered due to both budgetary cuts and legal challenges. The fate of Los Angeles's BREATHE program, it remains uncertain. As legal experts have suggested that the demographic information could be used in future lawsuits to challenge the program's constitutionality. Like, is it really fair? Is it fair that somebody gets $1,000 a month and you don't? In Cooks County, Illinois, which encompasses Chicago, a similar program has been running since December of 2022. Dubbed the Promise Program, pretty cool. This initiative is much larger in scale than other programs providing monthly payments of $500 to over 3,200 low and middle income families. So it doesn't have to be just low. This two-year program is using $42 million in federal funds and will continue through the end of 2024. The participants will select a via a lottery system from the applications pool of over 200,000 families. While the University of Chicago is testing the program, local officials have expressed hope that it might continue beyond its initial run. The research being conducted will also include a control group of families not receiving the payments, which will allow for the rigorous assessment of the program's impact. What's really happening? One of the most ambitious UBI programs in the entire country is happening in Flint, Michigan, a city that has struggled in the aftermath of a water crisis that drew national attention. There's gonna be a lot of stuff from the hurricane and from everything that's happened with Milton and Helen. There's gonna be a lot of stuff happening as well. RX Kids, led by Dr. Hannah Atishe, a key figure, is exposing the water crisis in providing $500 a month payments to every mother and primary caregiver of a newborn in the city for the first year of the child's life. In addition to these monthly payments, mothers receive a lump sum of $1,500 upon reaching the 20 week mark of their pregnancy. So share this because this money could go to your friends and family. Unlike other programs, RX Kids does not have income requirements. So it's available to almost anybody or restrictions to how the money can be used. You can use it how you want. And payments to follow the child even if it's aborted or taken into a new guardian. Either way, you got money. This program funds through a mix of philanthropic contributors and repurposed federal welfare dollars. It's been closely watched by the state and federal lawmakers who hopped in and wanna be able to serve as a model for similar efforts that they wanna roll out nationwide. 
Harris County, Texas, which includes the city of Houston, has also embarked on its own UBI-like experience. The Uplift Harris pilot program is providing monthly payments of $500 to nearly 2,000 low-income residents in a period of 18 months, funding entirely by federal American Rescue Plan dollars. The program is expected to cost at least $20 million. However, not all residents of the country are eligible to participate in this. Only those living in 10 specific zip codes and earning less than 200% of the federal poverty line apply. The future of Uplift Harris is uncertain, so some Texas Republicans are actively seeking to block the program through legal means. In Washington State, Pierce County is expanding a program known as Growing Resilience in Tacoma. This initiative will largely serve low-income single-family parents, providing 500 a month payments for over a year to 130 households. The program is restricted to parents who are ahead of the household and have children, and the money is distributed without any strings attached to it at all. While smaller programs in scale compare to the UPI program across the country, GRIT is nonetheless providing a financial lifeline to struggling families in the region. What these programs demonstrate is that UBI, or at least UBI-like efforts, are being tested around the country in various forms and with different objectives. All the people that I know that are billionaires know that a lot of people are gonna be without jobs because of AI and because of all the automation that's happening in the world. Some aim to alleviate the poverty, others to promote economic security, or address longstanding racial and economic inequalities. While the outcomes of these programs are still being studied, they represent or basically the importance of thinking about this experiment, what's happening, because we need to rethink that cost labor approach. It's probably not gonna work into our future. Social security is not gonna cover it. But for those who raise important questions about sustainability, what it happens to money if we print it, it just inflates. All these things play a role in the government to provide their citizens with the best possible support. As we continue to debate the merits of this UBI, we'll see if the programs and the valuable insights. I had to cover these programs to make sure because our economy is complex and these highlight the complex realities of trying to implement such radical shifts and how we support the vulnerability also the identity of people that have those jobs. Why UBI may not be a perfect solution, the lesson learned from the program will essentially be shaping the future of the United States. So I hope you found this useful. Check out your programs. Google UBI in your local area. See if something is available. There are programs popping up around the country, all over the place. See if you can get this money. Some have no restrictions. Some have restrictions. Take care. My name is Andrew Cartwright. Love you.